Day four of Tennessee's special session on public safety and the man who summoned lawmakers to town is nowhere to be seen. Good evening, I'm Carrie Sharp. Tonight, both Republicans and Democrats are asking the same question. Have you seen this man? Governor Bill Lee, they say, has been no help in resolving the ongoing impasse between the House and the Senate. It's an impasse that is frustrating people who want change. This was the scene today as House Speaker Cameron Sexton left House chambers after a scheduled noon session was postponed. In the House, Republicans are working through a list of bills that would still need a Senate approval. But the Senate has passed just three bills and leaders say they don't plan to do any more. And for once, Republicans and Democrats are united, united in their frustration with Governor Lee. News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams went in search of the governor. So, Phil? Any luck? Well, unfortunately, no, but we are not alone that we are told that uh, after Governor Lee called lawmakers into a special session, those lawmakers say they have been on their own. If you come to the state capitol to see a governor, there are plenty to choose from, governors from throughout Tennessee history. There's a McWhorter, a Sunquist, a Bredesen, and a Haslam. But if you're looking for the governor. So has anyone seen the governor? He's missing. <laughs> Where's the governor in all of this? Oh gosh, well, that's the question, isn't it? So I, I can't even tell you where, where, he, where he is or what his thoughts are. Okay, he's missing in action on this? Yeah. Even the chaplain from Covenant School posted on X a silver alert for Lee, saying last seen before the special session he called. He adds, quote, Bill may have a condition that would impair his ability to man up. It's, it's disconcerting to, to see all these people showing up and, um, and putting their heart and, and hundreds of hours into preparing legislation for a special session that he called and, um, and he's nowhere to be seen. It is a very important conversation that I think Tennesseans want us to have. And Lee summoned lawmakers into the special session following the Covenant School shooting, but he's kept a low profile throughout the week. His only public appearance this week was to speak to the future Farmers of America at the State Fair. Democrat Bo Mitchell was there. And he did not even speak of the special session. I'm like, you've called us into town. You've got a whole audience of the people you ought to be helping change their views and their minds, and you say nothing. So what does it say about his leadership? Well, you know, it says that he's not leading. On Monday, hours before the special session began, the governor was supposed to be the guest of honor at a political fundraiser at Nashville's Hermitage Hotel. But when Lee arrived, he spotted our cameras and kept driving. A spokesperson says he suddenly realized he had things to do. No, no word from the governor? No. Now with negotiations breaking down between the Senate and the House. I don't, I don't think he's been involved as much as he should have. Been. Even Republicans say they wish they had actually seen this man. That, that would have been a, a big help to the entire legislature. Is it too late for him to get involved? Well, uh, at this point, I think that it is. Okay. But, okay. you know, you've got to always leave that window open. We also heard the same criticism yesterday from the group's Moms Demand Action. Today, I asked the governor's press secretary for a comment on the accusations that he's been missing in action. She replied that she didn't know what I was talking about, that the governor has been at the Capitol every day, just like members of the General Assembly. Carrie.